parallel. This is one of the activity that you should know. It rescues us when you try to do some kind of operation and suddenly a pop-ups come. Okay? And it will block the first application. For example, if I say, if I'll Uh, if you save or take an example when you are reading an email suddenly a, a admin related pop-up will come so what you can do you can use parallel what is the use of parallel you know you can have two blocks here you can have two blocks here understand parallel doesn't mean it will execute side by side some people do this mistake okay some people do this mistake what they will think that okay it's parallel means both the execution will happen side by side no if by mis you will have normal flow and you will have blocking flow so as i told you i won't i won't be able to show you because basically if you face that kind of situation then you can do i can take some normal example and do it but that's not the correct scenario for example you are you are writing a sequence to read an Outlook email and suddenly a pop-up will come which will block, block your Outlook. Now, there is a situation that the, the pop-up can come and the pop-up cannot come. So what you will do, the pop-up you will handle here. So remember, in a situation when your main thread is getting blocked by something, the block unblocking mechanism that means clicking button or something you need to write here how it works in parallel means if first block first sequence is blocked then it will go to the second sequence it is not like that both will execute simultaneously they understand this clear this will never ever execute simultaneously they are going to execute one after another but the sequence will be if this is blocked if this is not able to execute further, then this second will execute. Okay. If if we will face any kind of this kind of situation, then only you have to use parallel. Else, no need to use it. Okay. Only in case of blocking, you have to use. Maybe in the advanced topics, I will show you that how you can use parallel. That's it guys, that's it for the basics.